times. I'm excited to see how this matchup plays out. I know we've discussed Bard Love so much this week. And Mr. Smug Crepo on the side is somewhat of the biggest Bard fanboy. You guys at home, tell us. Hashtag FMC win or hashtag SK Bard win. Let us know. Let's not tunnel too much on the Bard. Let's just give him a brief introduction. It is a new champion. Hasn't been played in the LCA yet. What does Bard excel at? Let's get the crowd. Give their moment. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? That's us loading onto the Rift. Fnatic on the blue side. SK on the red side. The Bard bus is coming. The Bard <laughs> Choo choo. <laughs> right, SK. Feb they have found Febivin. Febivin's in trouble. The Cosmic Binding is going to get the slow. The flash forward. That's going to be first blood to the Flash Ignite. And it was just the Meep Empowered Auto Attack first. Then the Cosmic Binding, which actually missed. A couple of wards up in the north top half of the jungle in favor. Fnatic, Fnatic. making the... The best of a worst situation, but Alistar Nar is not something you want on the bot lane. Rain over may have overextended here a bit. Well, Javelin toss is connected. The Shurima shuffle back. comes in and he gets Rain over. So well played. Assist in there. Cosmic Binding does not slow or root or anybody anything. together, but look at Febivin, level 9. He's zoned out. From the side, he's not with his team. Crystal Arrow is still available, and I think Dragon has fully reset. There was a magical journey going on just over through there. Febivin does not get caught up, doesn't get rooted. Petrifying only stuns and rated, but Candy Pan is going to rend. He does get caught up, and Huni is looking. Stuns him against the wall. This is a battle on two fronts. And rated slow. Candy Panda and Sven get knocked up in the air, while Rainover is pulling all of the attention. Candy Panda is still alive. Yellow Star's looking for him, but he's not able to find him. They've been able to cut down the tree of Freddy, but Candy Panda gets another kill on the board. And we see the temp. Fate holding Reckless and Rain over in place. Fox throws down the Conquering Sands just a tiny bit early. And a graphic because that was fantastic, Crepo. So, battle over the Scuttle Crabs. Fin has got, got again. Here's a journey. Board. Here comes the magical journey. Yellow Star's following through. Ash Arrow's on to Sven. Rainover's joined the party. Everybody's knocked up. We do see Fate's Call pulling out in Raider, but he flings himself right back in. Nobody's gone down just yet. But here comes Fox. Febivin's caught out. He's Falcon managed to kick. petrify and Raider in Candy Panda. And Fox is being poisoned alive. Rainover plus Febivin sink their fangs in, but Candy bites back. When he comes Hoody, in with the teleport, he's going to run to 50% of that mega knob bar is on the way. Do you see a very short range magical journey as Hooney follows through? I love Bard's journeys. Rainover is going to get rooted with Hooney and the Korean duo are unable to chase further. If, I love these team fights. If you chase a Bard, do it one by one or the Q will screw over the enemy, like your ally behind you. Do it one by one by one. Otherwise, it's going to get tricky. And Raided missed time to teleport on Huni there, but he's still got a second chance to do it. Yellow Star's going down. While Sven Skerrin, he gets knocked over the wall, but the volley doesn't connect. Huni and Reckless try to get past. Nice the Tempered Fate doesn't connect, and somehow Rainover was able to solo and it just on the back line. Tricky means interesting, and I'm okay with that. Yellow Star is going to fire. Oh, Here's the arrow. Sven's caught out. Tempered Fate comes up. That's going to keep Sven alive for a few seconds longer. Emperor's Divide knocks them back. Now, Rainover's looking for the next target. It's Reckless that got the kill. The house lands onto Fox. Flash Nog does flash. not connect as Fox responds in kind. Now, Freddy has got knocked up in the air. He's not going to try back away. He flashes over the minions. The, min the tower might be the next focus as the Sand Soldiers come up. Look at that damage from Fox. They finally get Yet, uh, 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 Freddy knocked out as beautiful Petrofia jumps in. Even. Petrifying Gaze freezes up SK Gaming. They do get the mid tower, and Fnatic end up trading one for three the tower. And let's see if they can take more. And something you had highlighted yesterday. Yellow Star and his Baron calls in the early to mid, well, early mid game. That Triple is a massive, ultimate. The Tempered Fate catches everyone. SK have grouped up. We see Enrated knocking them up with the Fate's Call, but Reckless is in a fairly safe position. What can he do? He's firing volley after volley. The tree is down. Look at Candy Panda on the left. Both top laners have been removed from the fight, but Fnatic are in retreat. Febivin may be cut off from the rest of the team. He does seem to have the positioning, and Febivin decent length of time that Fnatic have to play with, that window of opportunity where they're not afraid. We do see a teleport coming into the middle lane, but they've already killed Svenskeren in the blink of an eye. And there's no teleport on Freddy because Huni doesn't have his teleport either. And this is going to get really ugly. Going to get ugly indeed. You can see on the picture in picture, holo holo, in rated, no tempered fate. It's on cooldown. Rest of SK doing Remember what they can. The Baron's been picked up. Fox has gone all the way in. This time the Shurima shuffle sends him back to the pits. And we do see in rated as well as Freddy on a magical journey. Hooney, Fox, they want to go for it. We do see in rated getting pulled back by the fate's call. 
And all of a sudden, Fnatic have got two kills in the Baron buff. To the mid lane. Then Fnatic, uh, SK moves in first to the Dragon. And Shadow goes to Arrow. Wow, there we go. Candy Panda instantly QSS's that one away. I think he got caught by the Crucible as well. Hooney is going to go Mega Nar, but he's dropped already. Unable to channel his ultimate. That's a four-man knocker from Yellowstar. And the Petrifying Gaze catches onto Freddy. Candy Panda forced to flash defensively. Now we see the journey. Everybody's going through it. Two kills for Febivan as they're trying to chase down the retreating SK. One for three. Reckless. Can he find the volley? It's going to slow in Rater, but nobody else will continue the chase. I totally lied to you. There comes Yellowstar from the side and Rachel's in trouble. That's a headbutt pulverized onto Candy Panda. But he never decides to peel away. And Candy Panda and Rachel get away with their lives. Fnatic. Right now. Gonna keep an eye on. Teleport coming in. Well, let's see what Hooney can do. The Crystal Arrow is saved by the Fates Call, but Sven is a little caught out. Hooney's zoning, Yellowstar zoning, but Febivan's the one in trouble. He's gonna throw down that Archangel's and he's going to survive. Him, Candy Kate. Panda's the next target. Febivan with a double kill. The chimney lands on Sven Skeren as he transforms back to human to try to chase. Hooney now looking for more. Nah is available. He misses once more. This is not Hooney from day one, but he lands the house again. We do see Fox channeling up another tower, but it's just gonna be a little more gone in Fnatic's coffers as we see Fnatic barreling down the middle lane with two more kills after successful teleport play. That would say that damage was disgusting. It was indeed. Let's see, Reckless maybe caught here, has to flash. Wow, Yellow Star is now the man that's in trouble, taking a ton of soldier attacks. We do see the Luden's Echo Prox and Fox says, you shall not pass go, you shall not spend your gold. Without punishment, and Baron has just spawned two See, members of Fnatic down. I'm not even sure if that's worth the flash. You kill the support that all you had to base while you're about to attend the Baron. Yes, it looks fancy, but you need that flash in the fight. Well, we'll find out if they do need it. We do see Rek'Sai being played by Rainover. He's moved his way in. Baron is down. Look at the HP on the bottom left of your screen, guys. Reckless, Enchanted Crystal Arrow, but it hits the tree. He's been crucible. Baron down to 3,000. It's going lower. Rainover's gone in, but he doesn't get it. It's actually secured by Fox. But what about the fight? Emperor's Divide is going to lock people out, but Rainover, he's soloed the mid lane. He's picked up a double. Reckless has got one more of his own as Candy Pan is trying to reply. The magical journey will not give anyone a magical life. And Fnatic Ace SK Gaming. How does Fnatic keep doing this every time again? But I, one thing I want to highlight is miscommunication on Candy Panda and then Rated Side. You see. As we've hit 42 minutes, Cassiopeia has hit 500 stacks. Here's Hooney, though. The Ash Arrow catches on to Sven Skerra. There's no Crucible nearby to save him. Febivan gets another kill on the board as Hooney is cosmically binded in place. Enrated is trying to get away as Yellowstar's got the Righteous Glory movement speed up. He's not going to get the movement debuff onto SK, but it's not needed. Look, minions on the top lane, minions on the bottom lane, Fnatic on the Baron, and it's all on SK. What are they going to do? And they manage to find the right pick every time. They take out the jungler. Oh, they do manage to stop Febivan and Reckless, and SK have picked this fight. Baron was secured by Fnatic. There's minions in the picture-in-picture. Picture. Everybody is dying for SK Gaming. Freddy will be the next one to fall, and Fox is on the wrong side of the river. He does shut down Febivan, though, as his poison will tick over for the triple kill. Fnatic have got minions aplenty. Damage galore, and they should be knocking on the Nexus door. <laughs> Just gonna let that breathe. <laughs> but Fnatic, they managed to find one pick, and it's the crucial one on the jungler. Once Smite is out of the equation, they can safely start that Baron. Ruin SK, they have to contest this. They had no choice, and now they have no Nexus, Trevor. There is no Nexus, and Fnatic go 2 0 in week one. Conceding SK two losses in week one. But we were entertained. The amount of relief on Yellow Star's face as he stood up. They had to dig deep and work hard for that victory.